Hey all, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to discuss the de novo synthesis of purines along with its regulation and we will also see various analogs used as an purine synthesis inhibitors. Before going in the detail, please subscribe my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. The learning of de novo synthesis of purine is essential for the better understanding of the various etiology of various disorders as well as for the better understanding of mechanism of action of various anti-cancer drugs. Purine nucleotides and pyrimidine nucleotides are basically dietary non-essential compounds and the dietary nucleic acids as well as dietary nucleotides they do not provide any essential constituent for the synthesis of endogenous nucleic acids. The dietary nucleic acid which is present in the form of DNA and RNA they get degraded into the mononucleotide with the help of deoxyribonuclease enzyme and ribonuclease enzyme which is present in the intestinal as well as in the pancreatic secretion. This mononucleotide further degraded into the nucleoside with the help of nucleotidase and phosphatases enzyme and this nucleoside further hydrolyzed into the various bases like purines and pyrimidines and into the pentose sugar with the help of phosphorylases. This basis, if it is presence of purine, then it gets oxidized into the uric acid and if there is a presence of pyrimidines, pyrimidines then it gets oxidized into the carbon dioxide and ammonia. So This is the picture showing the digestion of dietary nucleic acids. Now biosynthesis of purine nucleotides. So almost all living organisms can synthesize purine nucleotides and there are two important purine nucleotides which are important for the synthesis of nucleic acids that are first is the adenosine monophosphate which is also called as a AMP and the second one is the guanosine monophosphate which is also called as a DMP. Now these purine nucleotides can be synthesized by two pathways. First one is the de novo synthesis of pathway which is the new synthesis of purine nucleotides with the help of various amphibolic intermediates and the second one is the salvage pathway. The first de novo synthesis of purine nucleotides. In this video we will discuss the de novo synthesis of purine nucleotides only. So in de novo pathway the purine ring formed from the variety of the precursors which gets assembled on the ribose 5-phosphate. This ribose 5-phosphate is coming from the hexose monophosphate shunt pathway and various precursors which will contribute in the synthesis of carbon and nitrogen of the purine rings are C4, C5 and N7 will be contributed by the glycine. Then second one is the aspartate which contributes the N1 of the purine ring. Then the third one is the glutamine which contributes the N3 and N9 of the purine ring. Then there are the two one carbon group which contributes the C2 and C8. That are C2 gets contributed by the N10 formal tetrahydrofolate and C8 gets contributed by the N5, N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate and the C6 of the purine rings get synthesized from the carbon dioxide. Now the first synthesis of first step in this uh, synthesis of purine nucleotide is the synthesis of phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate which is also called as a PRPP. This PRPP gets synthesized from the ribose 5-phosphate which is coming from the pentose phosphate pathway. This PRPP is important intermediate for the synthesis of purine nucleotide as well as for the pyrimidine nucleotide. So the let's see now uh, the main pathway. So the first step in the de novo synthesis of purine nucleotide is the synthesis of phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate from the ribose 5-phosphate. Over here pyrophosphate group from the ATP gets attached to the C1 of the ribose 5-phosphate and the name of enzyme is PRPP synthetase. So this is the first step in the de novo synthesis of purine nucleotide. Then this Phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate undergoes amination reaction. The amide group from the glutamine gets transferred to the PRPP with the help of glutamine PRPP amidotransferase as there is a transfer of amide group acrine and it leads to the synthesis of 5-phosphoribosyl amide. This particular step is the rate limiting step for the de novo synthesis of purine nucleotide. This particular step which is catalyzed by the glutamine PRPP amidotransferase and this glutamine it contributes in the synthesis of N9 of the purine ring. 
After that, this 5 phosphoribozyl amine it gets converted to the glycinamide ribonucleotide with the help of glycinamide ribonucleotide synthetase. And over here, C4, C5, and N7 of the purine ring synthesized with the help of glycine. And again, over here, there is a conversion of one molecule of ATP to the ADP. So, this is how 5 phosphoribozyl amine gets converted to the glycinamide ribonucleotide. After that, one carbon group from the N5, N10 methanol tetrahydrofolate gets transferred to the glycinamide ribonucleotide and the enzyme is glycinamide ribonucleotide formide transferase and over here there is a synthesis of C8 of the purine ring occurs and this glycinamide ribonucleotide gets converted into the formyl glycinamide ribonucleotide. So that is synthesis of FGAR. Then again N3 of the purine ring synthesized with the help of glutamine. So, amide group from the glutamine gets transferred to the formyl glycinamide ribonucleotide and the enzyme is formyl glycinamide ribonucleotide amidotransferase. And this formyl glycinamide ribonucleotide gets converted into the formyl glycinamidin ribonucleotide. So, this is how this formyl glycinamidin ribonucleotide synthesized. Then, First ring closure step occurs and this uh, formyl glycinamide glycinamidin ribonucleotide gets converted into the amino imidazole ribonucleotide and the enzyme is amino imidazole ribonucleotide synthetase. Again there is a utilization of one molecule of ATP. Then uh, C6 of the purine ring gets synthesized from the carbon dioxide. Amino imidazole ribonucleotide gets converted into the carboxy amino imidazole ribonucleotide and the enzyme is air carboxylase. Then carboxy amino imidazole ribonucleotide gets converted into the N succinyl 5 amino imidazole 4 carboxymide ribonucleotide that is SICAR and the enzyme is SICAR synthetase. Over here, aspartate contributes in the synthesis of N1 of the purine ring. From now, after SICAR gets synthesized, the succinyl group is removed from the SICAR in the form of fumarate with the help of SICAR lyase enzyme and this SICAR that is succinyl amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide gets converted into the amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide that is ICAR. After that, again one carbon group gets transferred from N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate to the ICAR that is amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide and there is a synthesis of formyl, amine, formyl amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide and the enzyme is amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide transformylase. Fine. After that second ring closure step occurs. Over here there is a synthesis of C2 of the purine ring. Over here there is a synthesis of C2 of the purine ring. After that, this FICAR that is formyl amino, amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide undergoes second ring closure with the help of inosine monophosphate synthase enzyme and over here there is a synthesis of first purine nucleotide that is inosine monophosphate. The first purine nucleotide which gets synthesized in the de novo synthesis pathway is inosine monophosphate. This inosine monophosphate then converted to the adenosine monophosphate and into the guanosine monophosphate with two different reactions. So first we will see the synthesis of adenosine, monosoph adenosine monophosphate. So the amino group from the aspartate gets transferred to the inosine monophosphate and this inosine monophosphate gets converted to the adenyl succinate and the name of enzyme is adenyl succinate synthetase over here energy is utilized in the form of BTP. Then this adenyl succinate, the, there is a removal of fumarate occurs and this adenylosuccinate gets converted to the adenosine monophosphate with the help of adenylosuccinase. So this is how AMP is synthesized from the inosine monophosphate. Amino group is contributed by the aspartate. Fine. So a for adenosine monophosphate and A for aspartate. So this is how you can remember. Second is the synthesis of BMP that is guanosine monophosphate from the IMP. The first inosine monophosphate undergoes 
it gets converted into the xanthosine monophosphate with the help of IMP dehydrogenase enzyme as there is a dehydrogenase so there is a conversion of NAD plus into the NADH plus H plus and it leads to the synthesis of xanthosine monophosphate. This xanthosine monophosphate amide group from the glutamine gets transferred to the xanthosine monophosphate and this xanthosine monophosphate gets converted into the guanosine monophosphate. As there is a transfer of amido group is occurring so the name of enzyme is xanthosine monophosphate glutamine amido transferase and over here energy is utilized in the form of ATP. So amino group is amino group is contributed by the glutamine for the synthesis of guanosine monophosphate from the IMP. So T for glutamine and G for guanosine monophosphate. And the energy which is utilized in the synthesis of adenosine monophosphate from the IMP is GTP while over here there is a ATP. So this help in the cross regulation for the synthesis of this purine nucleotide. So this is how adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate synthesized from the inosine monophosphate. Now this is the step which shows, this is the reaction which shows how there is a synthesis of nucleoside triphosphate from the nucleoside monophosphate. So nucleoside monophosphate with the help of nucleoside monophosphate kinase gets converted to the nucleoside diphosphate and over here there is a conversion of one molecule of ATP to the ADP. Then nucleoside diphosphate gets converted to the nucleoside triphosphate with the help of nucleoside diphosphate kinase and again there is a conversion of one molecule of ATP to the ADP. Now regulation of de novo synthesis of purine nucleotides. So the first and main regulatory step is catalyzed by the glutamine PRPP amidotransferase. This enzyme is feedbackly inhibited by all the three nucleotides that is IMP, AMP and GMP. All this nucleotide inhibits the glutamine PRPP amidotransferase enzyme. This is the first and important regulatory step for the de novo synthesis of purine nucleotide. Second regulatory step is occurring at the conversion of inosine monophosphate to the adenosine monophosphate and inosine monophosphate to the guanosine monophosphate. If there is an adequate availability of adenosine monophosphate is there then this adenosine monophosphate inhibits the adenylosuccinate synthetase enzyme so there is no conversion of IMP to AMP occurs. If there is an adequate availability of guanosine monophosphate is there then this guanosine monophosphate inhibits the inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase enzyme so there is no conversion of IMP to AMP occur. So this is the second regulatory step and the third regulatory step is the synthesis of phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate from the ribose 5-phosphate with the help of PRPP synthetase enzyme. This particular enzyme gets inhibited by the ADP and GDP that is adenosine diphosphate and guanosine diphosphate. So this is how regulation of de novo synthesis of purine nucleotide occurs. Now analogs as purine synthesis inhibitor and this analogs are used as an anti-cancer agent. So the first one is the mercaptopurin. Mercaptopurin inhibits the conversion of inosine monophosphate to the guanosine monophosphate and adenosine monophosphate. Second one is the cytosine albinoside. Over here ribose is replaced by the albinos. Third one is the folate antagonist. Folate antagonist like methotrexate, it inhibits the transfer of one carbon group. So there is no synthesis of C2 and C8 of the purine ring. And the third, fourth one is the azacerin. Azacerin acts as a glutamine antagonist. So it will inhibit the step number 1 and 4. And there is no synthesis of N3 and N9 of the purine ring because glutamine helps in the synthesis of N3 and N9 of the purine ring. Now let's see the two multiple choice question asked in a various entrance examination. So the first question which was asked in Nimans 97 and Gifmet 2004 is Inosinic acid is a biological precursor 
A. Uracil and thymine. B. Purines and thymine. C. Adenylic acid and guanylic acid. And D. Orotic acid and uridylic acid. So we all know that inosinic acid is a biological precursor for the synthesis of adenylic acid and guanylic acid. IMP is the first purine uh, nucleotide which is synthesized and this IMP gets converted to the adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate. So the answer is C. Second question is, which statement for purine biosynthesis is incorrect? A. Requires vitamin B12. B. Assembled on the ribose 5-phosphate. C. Requires phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. And D. Requires glycine. So they assembled on the ribose 5-phosphate which is coming from the HMP shunt pathway. They also require PRPP. They require glycine which contributes the C4, C5 and N7 of the pyrimine ring. So the incorrect one is the it requires vitamin B12. So the correct answer is A. Requires vitamin B12. Then purine and pyrimidines are A. Dietary essential, dietary non-essential, derived from the essential fatty acids and D. Derived derivatives of essential amino acid. So in the beginning of the video, I have already mentioned that purine and pyrimidine nucleotides are the dietary non-essential. So the correct answer is B. And the last question is, nitrogen or carbon atoms are contributed to the structure of the purine ring by amino acids except A. Glycine, B. Glutamine, C. Aspartate and D. Glutamate. So the correct answer is, glycine contributes C4, C5 and N7, aspartate also contributes that is N1 of the purine ring and glutamine also contributes that is N3 and N9 of the purine ring. So the correct answer is D. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.